We're here at Tel Shilo, the place where the tabernacle sat for nearly four centuries, the place where Hana prayed for her son, Shmuel, who was anointed here and led the Jewish people, the place where people brought their sacrifices, gave thanks to Hashem. And we're going to be learning about the materials used to build that Mishkan, the Tchelet, the Agaman, Tolat Shani, Vishesh, Zahav, Kesef, and Nechoshet, the things we use to adorn to beauty God's home, the things we'll be used hopefully very soon in the Beit HaMikdash, in the Holy Temple in Yerushalayim. Shalom, I am Maya Naya, who is a woman of the Kohen Gadol. שאנחנו חושבים שזה השייך לבגד של הכהן הגדול. ואני עשיתי שחזור של הפעמון הזה מדמוי זהב. אנחנו רוצים לעשות את זה מזהב, כי בעבודות שלי בצרפות, בכסף, בזהב, אני מנסה לשחזר דברים של בית המקדש, של המשכן, כמו שאנשים עשו פעם, שהיו עולות ומביאות את הדברים הכי טובים, הכי יפים שלהם, תורמות למשכן, תורמות למקדש. אז אנחנו מנסות עם החוכמת לב שלנו לעשות דברים בשביל בית השם. היי, שלום, שמי אורנה ירשברג ואני גרה באיתמר. קוראים לי גם גברת הפרוכת, לשכת הפרוכת. יש לי שם סטודיו שבו אני חוקרת את הפרוכות של בית המקדש. למדנו הרבה דברים תיאורטיים ורצינו לעשות את זה. ממש, כאילו לא, לא להישאר בכתוב, בתיאוריה, אנחנו רוצים באמת בידיים שלנו, עם החוכמת לב, כן, ממש של, אה, לעשות דברים של, של המשכן, של המקדש, כמו שהם היו פעם, ושיהיו בעזרת השם גם כן, שצריך לדעת אותם. At the Kabbalat Shabbat, when you turn around for Borei Yerushalom, I would turn around and say, Shmuel, we're back. And of course, I'm referring to Shmuel Hanavi. And the ladies of Shiloh today are really very super. And what they do is a month before uh, Rosh Hashanah, they send out internet, using the internet in a positive way, uh, to let anybody know, if you know someone who has fichlila, doesn't have a child, uh, then give us her name. And then on Rosh Hashanah, uh, the women of Shiloh, all at the same time, uh, some come down here to where the Mishkan was, and some in the Beit Knesset that we have. And they all at the same time um, daven for the lady to please God have a, a child. We know of some 70 women who, since those that's been in uh, been done now the last five years, who have children since their name uh, was over here. Behind me, um, the camera looking at it, you can see a whole bunch of vineyards. When we first started Shiloh, there were nothing, totally uh, barren the entire area. Today is about 1,500 dunam. Uh, 400 acres of, do, of very, very successful vineyards. The second one is very small. It's in the size of a good sign of a sign of a sign. Here there are some of these people. And I'm going to do it in the water. The water is almost rotting. We're already starting to see the sign. אנחנו יכולים לראות את זה כבר כאן, אדום, וזה צמר. אני אדבר עכשיו על הצבעים של, של הבדים בבית המקדש. הבדים זה אומר הפרוכת, וזה אומר בגדי הכהונה. יש ארבעה צבעים, וזהו. אני מדברת על צבעים בסיסיים. יש את הצבע של התכלת, יש את הארגמן, יש את עולת שני, ויש את השש. We're here at the site of the Mishkan in Shiloh, the place where the Mishkan rested for nearly 400 years. And the Mishkan, it tells us in Parsha Tshuma, זאת התשומה אשר תקחו מאיתם זהב, הכסף ונחושת, תכלת. Agaman, Tolat Shani Vashesh. The Gemara Menachot says, Amar lei Abai al Rav Shmuel bar Rav Yehuda. Abai said to Shmuel, the son of Rav Yehuda, Ha tachilta hecha tzviyatu lei. This tchelet, how do we dye it? Amar lei answered this to him, Mai tinan dam chilazon, we bring the blood of the snail, besamanim, chemicals, Raminu lubayoru, we put into a vessel for dyeing, 
We mark the chin alay and we boil it. Whenever we do the dyeing for the trelet, it's a very special process. Besides the special technical process that was done, there's a special spiritual process. And I have to have in mind that what we're doing it, when we're doing it for the tzitzit, is that it's made specifically for the fringes, for the tzitzit, that will be put on the corners of the four corner garment. And in order to do that, we say words to help us focus and, and keep our minds, our hearts, our souls on the mitzvah, on the idea that what we're doing now is something to glorify God's name, to appreciate the beauty of God's world. Hashem, mitzvah, tzitzit. The trelet is the most expensive and finest textile, and it's listed first among the textiles. The trelet was used in the Mishkan for many different things. The me'il, that was Kulo Trelet. The Kohen Gadol was the only one who would have a me'il, a cloth, a robe that was entirely made of Trelet. Chana, she came here to the Mishkan and prayed for a child. How important was it for her to have a child? And God answered her prayers and she had a child. And that child, she decided to raise him as a leader of the Jewish people a leader that was so needed for the Jewish people, someone who was a visionary, who could see the bigger picture, who could connect, could connect to God, connect to spirituality, and connect to the people. And she dedicated her son, Shmuel, to that cause. And uh, as a parent, as a father, uh, it's very difficult to imagine sending your child off, the one that you've prayed for and waited so long, giving him away, to God. She brought Shmuel to become a leader to help bring vision to those who were lost. And it says, interestingly, of the one thing that she gave to Shmuel, to her son, was a me'il. She gave him a cloak, a security blanket. She wanted him to remember her, to have roots, to be connected to her parents to realize where he came from, but she also wanted him to use those roots for the highest, most lofty possible things, to pray for the Jewish people, to lead them, to give them direction, to keep them focused on God's message, and to use that to make the world a better place. The temple is a place for us to connect to the bigger picture, to connect to God, and to uplift ourselves and make the world a better place.